I highly welcome you all beloved in Christ. You indeed welcome to this glorious day the Lord has for you. You are indeed welcome to the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there is liberty. Yes, liberty is ever assured in our lives. So, beloved, I welcome you once more because you are gifted, you are blessed for you to make a chance. For you to let go of your daily or some certain things that will hinder you not to have listened but you go on your way to listen may the lord continue to bless you as you continue may you make sure you finish make sure you listen to the end and know what the lord has for you because his plan for you is of good not this is about to bring it to your expectation you remember before you've been conceiving your mother's womb, he has known a plan ahead what will become of you so here is the time the lord has for you a nice topic that he is telling you that is high time you start getting something done in your life is that time you make a move is that time you turn the table around because you're not meant to be stagnated you're not meant to be held captain for you are in moving train in the lord beloved i thank god for your life may the blessings of the lord never depend may the blessings of the lord never depart from you because you are destined for greatness and the lord is your lamp under your feet and the light to your direction so if he does not go before you if his presence does not go before you let it not bring you up let it not move you or take you away from where you are because his presence needs to go before you to make that crooked way straight yes for you yes to make that way available and to make that way great in your sight so that when you're crossing and passing it it will be a level ground for you to not be dead or where you'll be struggling to get to but it will be a straight road for you so it shall be your case in jesus name because he has a great stock and a great topic in stock for you so what well, is expected of you is to eat and listen okay welcome was my topic said today wake up you sleeper remember destiny is rarely fulfilled in idle our topic today is wake up you sleeper that is our quote yes our quote said destiny is rarely fulfilled in idleness beloved what are we talking about at times where we are today is not where we are supposed to be because they will have mesmerizing our spirit our thoughts and our actions because at times we'll be held captive seems like we don't know can differentiate our right for wrong but the lord is that the lord is telling you and i that when you take a some certain decision it will be over in your life at times we tend to let go and allow devil to use us over time not looking not doing what is right that is why we'll be stagnated but if we watch our ground and study the world implement it in our life and make it flesh in us then you will see yourself in moving to our test for today is taken from provide system and i regret that after this i will urge us to take it to study proverb 6 once to night it at your own leisure time then you know what it entails for your own betterment okay let's go further let's read further a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of hands to sleep beloved brother the others will say a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of hands to rest okay lazy people neither break forth or show forth on earth beloved for real if you desire a transition from realm of insult to realm of resort if you want a shift from being an entity to being a celebrity you desire to move from being a liability to become an asset yes move from being a liability to become an asset then you need to wake up from your sleep there must be a wake up before there can be a lift up unfortunately the problem of this generation is laziness i mean laziness about work in prayer and in reading the word of god to make sure if you if you love sleep you end up a pooper. The race of destiny is a personal responsibility, and your response 
to life is always determined how life will respond to you. Those who will eat their fullness in God cannot afford to be lazy. There are men that will walk out their salvation by fervent prayer, fasting, faith, searching for the truth that will set them free. Apostle Paul wrote to the Philippians, walk out your salvation. With trembling affair, if you're going to break out from poverty, you have to walk it out yourself. You, if you don't want to keep recording losses and failure in business, academic and order, on the taking of your life, you have to stand up and work it out. Breaking forth in life is not automatic. Smith, Royal Lost Words said, if you are in the same position within three days, you have lost vision. This is no vision. Whatever for a, whatsoever for a lazy person, so reduce your hour of sleep. Wake up early, stretch your arms, legs, and engage in some spiritual exercise. Read, work hard. Use your useful age to work hard and lay a solid foundation for your old age. Maximize both your productive years as well as your productive hour of each year. Finally, endeavor to bequeath a good legacy to your children. Remember, each day of your life is my lost one. Arise, shine, God light will shine on you. You will lift the beloved. You are lifted. Wake up, you sleeper. I destiny is really fulfilled in idleness, beloved. That is the word of God for us today. Why are you in that same stagnancy? Because you've not tend to find the truth that is holding you there. What are you called for? At times we don't know our, we don't know ourselves. We don't know our ideal self. Yes, we don't tend to this. We don't know ourselves. Yes, did you know yourself? That is the question you need to ask yourself. What do, what are you good at? What is that thing you can do perfectly well? It is not by your power, it's by the grace of God. That is why I'm here to encourage us that many of us are victims of all these years. We are lazy. Times you see a man full of life because he they because he lost his job and you see him. A man full of life that is what doing, but because he lost his lo his job, he not give up on life. He not tend to depend on the wife. It's not that a shameful act. It's a shameful act. You see a young guy full of life in a standing position, not moving, not doing anything. He did the same thing. These are happening in our world, but same. But this has the different facets anyways now as if you're not working out some are working and why some are held by captivity yes yes but i want to tell us some certain things in our life is spiritual is not ordinary and when you give it to that spiritual forces it tends to maneuver your life and it tends to take away that great things that good plan god has in store for like i told us he said before you've been conceived in your mother's womb he has known our plan ahead what will become of you. So I want us I want to urge us to read this verse, verse 6, verse 1 to 19. It will help us. Yes, it will really encourage and help us in order to work our way out. If you are the type who has allowed situations to overcloud you, be relevant, try to start making some to what are you going to make? Do some research researches. Read the book you need to restore to the world of God in all put God face it. Seek ye the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and everything will be added in our lives, beloved. That is his word for you. You, you will never go unedited. His blessings and his promises is ever assured in your life. Wake up from your sleep. It's high time you start making things happening. Are you this cold Christian who doesn't know how to pray? God will help you out. I want us to help, I want us to share your point of view in this platform. Tell us. Tell me how you go about your spiritual life. Express it here in the comment section. I'm out here to help us by the grace of God. I'm channeled here to help us grow our spiritual growth, to help us to attend to that area we feel while we are having loophole lapses in order to move forward. The Lord strengthen you all. If you don't know how to take or pick up your Bible to read, here is an opportunity for you to start the world. I always bring kids to a notice. So you have to take up your Bible, study one part, passage or part, chapter one, read it down, 
if you can take one verse there you read it and summarize it and ask the holy spirit it doesn't just come like that i'm a living witness i was hard i was tough on knowing the word of god in fact if i just i always read it like a story book the understanding is not there but i pray i ask god for wisdom and understanding he bestowed me with the knowledge of his will that is nothing you ask god he will not do for you what is expected of you is just come to him you see come let us reasons together says the Lord. though your sins may be that of scarlet he said he will make it to be white as snow it may be red as crimson he said it will, he will make it to be white as wool we will all know how wool shines white snow white that is his promise for you see those areas you feel dirty those things you seem you don't know he will put it to you we fail to know all these things we fail to humble ourselves to our makeup for him to direct our path because he has a final say in your life this life you're living is not by your grace it's by him he made this magnificent he made this great in you so brethren don't lazy around to be a lazy around tell yourself that you be a lazy around this time will make things happen at times you have the spirit talking to you we all have the spirit of god in us but we don't put it in practice and we don't listen that is why it tends not to be functioning and not head in our lives that is why at times we say we are confused god is not with us he is always with you but how far and how well have you listened to the voice practicalize it make him consistent closeness brought about greatness and breakthrough in life beloved i'm telling also how do you communicate your trouble problem with him you might tend to be you might tend to lose your job you may tend to be filing some financial pains or crisis you may tend to be in a financial crisis but beloved that's true you might have stayed home for five years you are not able to get a job it's not as if you're not working some have taken it as an opportunity because they have someone who fed for them but beloved is a lie Lord doesn't make you stagnant. It's high time we build our home the way we want it to be. Build your home, the Bible says. Walk now and when there is day, because night will come, you will not be able to do that in which you can do when you are earth. What is he trying to say on your young age? Do that, you know you can do. Lay legacy, lay foundation so that your job bringing, the children you're bringing on the world will not be victim of your sin, of your mistakes. We let's say no to that negative thought because we are there because they say my people are doomed because of lack of knowledge because they have failed to know me. This is why I'm calling us today. Listen, open your ear and listen. It's high time you start making things happen. How fast go your way to fast tie your problem out. Go your way to pray to God. Go your way to study. Check the stories. How those people who are victim of one, one different circumstances, challenges in life, how they were able to overcome it, work it out. If you don't know how to work it out, read your book, do the needful things you need to do, seek the conscience in all, seek the conscience of God. By prayer and petition, make your by praying and petition, make it known to God and He will come to your aid. He's the rewarder of those who diligently seek him don't say that he's not close to you always watch and pray that is the promise that is the watch word every we should always watch we should always go with the word of god because he is the word he is our strength he has everything mapped out in our hands so why lazing around is that time you make things happen i pray at times we are accidental we are found in a situation that we're not supposed it's not as if we are handcuffed but spiritual control physical but when you make god your first two he will take care of your problem that is i assure us you are not meant to be stagnant you're not meant you're meant to be a moving train how are you going to make it have will depend on him make him your number one for him to say seek here the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto him bravo to you good luck our hand goes so far to see us in our next video so don't sleep wake up don't be a sleeper because the lord has made you wake up call for you to be an asset if for you to be an asset you don't need to be a liability for you to be a great person in life you need to start making things happen in your life i believe god will see us through as long as we are tuning into this platform god will make a grief a difference in our life a big difference in your life you'll be a lender not a borrower 
you go on this way to favor you because he said in his word he said beloved my wish is for you to prosper to prosper and be in a good heart evil has to so prosper it so beloved that is his wish and blessings for you so believe in the word of god and you saw her you overcome you stand your ground okay so here is the word of god for you for the life transforming messages don't give up all this goes your way to tune in for lord the lord have a great thing in stuff for you okay remember bless god bless you real good as you always tune into your life transforming messages make sure you listen it you listen to the end because you never can tell what god has for you it might be your turn today okay so beloved in christ i'll be hanging so far to see you in my next video okay catch you catch you i still remain the daughter of zion and your for you god bless you good bye for now